Welcome back, everybody. We know you need the snack to keep your energy up and your metabolism going throughout the day, but could be making some bad snack choices right here. Registered dietitian Anna Pufano is here. She's for the Little Clinic. Examples of what we should be eating. We were just talking about this in the break. I said, what happens to me, I wait until I'm starving. And then I make a really bad choice. Whatever's in front of me is what I eat. Right. Yes, yes exactly. You know? So what should we be eating? Uh, so the dietitians in October at Kroger, we have been really trying to get people to get back on the board with snacking and making it consistent day to day. Okay. Um, the reasons you would want to have a snack is one, um, to control kind of your appetite just like you're saying, right, right. control your hunger, increase your fruit and vegetable intake, okay. and then also to um, help with your energy levels throughout the day. That's where I need it, definitely. Okay, so some of the uh, things that you brought in here, I was really surprised. I looked at this and I said, is that pumpkin? <laughs> yes, so a good snack combination, you are combining a protein food with a high fiber food. Okay. So this does like a plant-based protein option. So we use the Lantana pumpkin spice hummus, oh, and then yeah. we put it on a chia and flax whole grain piece of toast. Okay. And then just to spice it up, I just put some honey, cinnamon, and some raisins. Ooh, that looks pretty tasty. I I thought hummus, all hummus was chickpea, but you said not so. So Lantana is an awesome brand because when my clients don't like hummus, sometimes I can find them something else. Okay. Um, Lantana uses different things. We have them all here. Yes. White bean, edamame, black bean, um, and then they have the seasonal one. But That yes. is so cool. I did not know that they had this. So you took a chicken breast and you made this little dip. Talk to me about that. Yes. So just like you were saying with the snacking. So your body is naturally hungry every three to four hours. Okay. So the average person would need anywhere from one to three snacks a day. Okay. Um, this is a snack that I created. So I used a chicken breast from our Kroger Deli, um, chopped that up pretty, I guess, diced it up. Right. Then I added black bean hummus, which is a little spicy, and then chopped up some of these baby bell peppers, um, mixed it together, and I'm serving it with cucumbers and a whole grain triscuit. Oh, I like that. And fruits and veggies, I mean, we don't always get enough of those. So I looked over here, I saw this plate. <laughs> I said, whoa, cheese sticks. And you said, no, those are not cheese sticks. What are those? Yes, so this is jicama. This is a root vegetable. Okay. And um, it kind of takes on the flavor of whatever you're dipping it into. This is carrot sriracha, um, which is a customer's favorite. Mm. Um, so it's this just a really bad. crunchy. You've probably had it in salads and not known what it is. Okay. A lot of times it's in Mexican cuisine and that type of thing. There you go, everybody. Get your fruits and veggies. Plan out your snacks so you're not making bad choices like I do. Go to the <laughs> Little Clinic for more information. They are open seven days a week inside select Kroger stores in Middle Tennessee. You can also check them out at littleclinic.com. Thanks for being here. Thank you.